saw an analogy between uh, financial markets and particle physics. What CERN is doing, they're looking for anomalies in data that fits the standard model. And we're looking for anomalies in financial market data that looks like manipulation. So we're both looking for anomalies in data. So from that insight, we thought, why can we not do a project where we mutually develop on the anomaly detection techniques that we have at CERN to advance this field and help regulators in Europe to better detect fraud in financial markets. The Hilo project was actually, it was initiated by having too much data and that's always a great start. Um, so uh, there were uh, a couple of people which, uh, who had uh, lots of finance data and they were looking for tools that would allow them to actually analyze the data, to find knowledge in that data. At SAN what we're truly good at is finding a sort of a needle in a huge haystack. We produce a lot of data with our detectors and the signals that we're looking for are very small. But we need to prove there's very strong statistical evidence that what we find is really there. So this know-how is also something that you could transpose to the finance world. And basically the goal of HILO is to create basically a research group that is going to accelerate, if you will, the development of tools that can detect market manipulation by combining financial econometrics with particle uh, physics methods. So the biggest challenge we had uh, with applying um, our methodology, not just the tool, but also the methodology to finance data, is that finance data is, by definition, time series data. Whatever happens next completely depends on what happened right before or maybe even days before.